<laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Hey, Ciaz. What's up, Ami? Uh, we're loading in to game two now. <laughs> the, you guys in the chat are fully aware of the situation of things, and uh, so are we. But uh, we're going to show you game two. Got to cross the T's and dot the I's. Let me just, um, let's see, put Aimstrong on the left. He's going to be the Brits. And OMG Pop will go on the right. He's going to be the Wehrmacht. And it's going to be 1-0 to zero for Aimstrong. We're loading in now. And this will be game two of the winner's bracket finals for $1,300 plus dollars. Come on in game with me. We're paused at five seconds, Ciaz. I am. Let's stick to our traditional roles. Uh, well, do we need to introduce them in game two? Because we introduced them in game one, kind of. Ciaz, let's stick to our traditional roles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to unpause in three, two, one, unpause. Six, game freeze, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Are we in sync? We are good. You'll notice something odd on the left. You'll notice some chat all. How refreshing that is to see the good luck have funds. Relic. Put him in obs mode, please. Uh, Surly Ami, look out. I'm not in a good mood after that game one. And I'm not in a good mood watching the replay of game two. Um... Fighting in the south as the Brits. He dominated everybody with his Brits yesterday, throwing down some ghost sandbags, which turns out are a lot harder to kill than anybody thought they were. In fact, they're so bugged that Relic should fix them immediately. It's Aimstrong. Hey! That's like the best one you ever did. See? The pressure's off, and, and then and then, and then Sia's delivers. In the north, Arn Arn checkpoint. He's down 1-0. He's at risk of being sent down to the loser's bracket. Representing Canada in the blue trunks, playing the Oster. It's OMG Pop. Opa. <coughs> Early GG. <coughs> yeah, I was... Uh, so, OMG Pop is... I consider him to be a pretty decent friend. You know, I've played with him a bunch in the past. Scrims, 2v2s, etc. And, uh... I really wish that, you know, in these types of matches with so much money on the line and so many people watching, that he would fight with a little bit more spirit. I have to second that motion. Because at the least, you know, even if you lose in a blaze of glory, at least you give the viewers a good game. And that's really what the community needs if we want to grow competitively is, you know, just great games so that people are entertained and more people want to watch and then more people hear about the great games and even more people come. So this is the winner's bracket finals. Okay, it has a big minimum cash prize for the winner. The winner will get at, at, at worst second place. So this is a big money game, but it's also not an elimination game. So should Pop lose, he's not out. He will go down to the bottom bracket and he will fight again. And, you know, if I were Pop, I know Pop's a fierce competitor, so that's not the issue. Perhaps his opinion is that when he feels a match or even a game is lost, it's not worth him expending energy trying to win it when he doesn't see that as a possibility. So it's almost like he made a long-term decision kind of not to fight it out, to save his energy, right? That you can you can argue for that. A lot of players when they think that they cannot win, they GG quick to save their energy and go to the next game, you know? Um on the other hand, what I would have done, this being my first game of the day, I mean, you know, Pops in in Canada. We talked to him the other day at the All-Star game. He's in Saskatchewan. And so it's early in the day, but I would have fought it to the very last tick of the VP just to like warm my fingers up, just to get in the rhythm of Mike Co 2. You know, I think I think it would be better to warm up than to preserve energy at this stage. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is you could just keep running at the VPs and capping VPs to drain your opponent and hopefully perform better in game two and then get faction choice game three. Yeah. I think I see what's going to happen, though. So Pop has a sniper and Aimstrong has a sniper. So we're definitely going to see some sniper duels here. Yes, indeed. Here comes Fletch. He's back. 
There's a whole factory of fletches. There's one very tired woman in Scotland who's uh, cranking out fletches. Every two years we get a new fletch. Sometimes we get twin brother fletches. So we've got an endless supply of Scottish Enemy fletches point. to come on and fight for the, the United Kingdom. So we're going to have Fletch, and now what's Pop Sniper's name, then? Shithead. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let's call him s then. <laughs> Fletch versus s -head. Have you seen The Jerk with uh, Steve Martin? He names his dog so. Shithead. And so okay. yeah, this, this sniper is named Shithead. Clearly, you're kind of upset at OMG Pop. No, no, no. It's just, it's a, na it's a nice name. It's a term of affection. Okay. So we have S Head over on the left protecting OMG Pop's fuel, and Fletch is going to try and dislodge the Grens in the center of the map who were chilling in Von Ivan's church. And, well, they were in my cafe, but now they're in that little dinky yellow house that nobody ever uses. Since we don't like to swear on SNF, we can call him Scheisskopf. Okay. I'll just keep calling him S Head because that's he is German, German words. Come on, you can learn. Do you know how to say shit in German? Scheisse. Yeah, I've heard them okay, say Scheiss. Okay, Scheiss, so take the E off the end. Scheiss, Kopf. That's your head, Kopf. Scheiss, Kopf. Enemy yeah, K-O-P-F, Kopf. Scheiss, Kopf. Da bist der. Da bist der Scheiss, Kopf. Er gibt so, auf zu früh. Nicht so früh aufgeben, Scheiss, Kopf. Und was machst du jetzt? Gar nichts. Was machst du? Du sitzt da. Du machst gar nichts. Bewegt dich ein bisschen. No idea what you're saying, I mean. Scheiße. No idea. Scheiße. 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 Scheiße.
This is just a gameplay. It's, it just feels so uncharacteristic of the pop. There's 2 2 2s giving the rear armor to two infantry sections. There's other 2 2 2 drives into the six pounder cone. Another 2 2 2 goes down. The other one is so low. It doesn't even have Pios to repair it and then calls the GG. His start was so solid, too, I thought. Like, he had good map control. He had the center of the map. You know, he threw away his first 2 2 2, but he still got the counter snipe off eventually. I am not impressed. You are not entertained, Dami? I am not entertained. <laughs> I'm sorry. Guys, I expect better from the bottom bracket because these two clowns. Wake up. Do whatever you got to do. Pop, go out and do some jumping jacks. Drink a Gatorade. Have a have a. I can recommend a Snickers bar. Uh, perhaps coffee. Perhaps something harder. You know, illegal substances. Whatever you need to do. Omg, Pop, get your stuff together. Scheisskopf. I love you, Pop. You know I do. But that was not a winner's bracket finals, man. That was like toilet paper. All right. So we're gonna go to the break. And we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to find some real men to bash each other's skulls in. We'll be right back.